Hey everybody out there, uh, this is uh, Michael M. Simpson, uh, Ryan Zero, aka. Uh, just wanted to show a little unboxing here. Uh, just received a package from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And my local UPS dude just dropped it off uh, about an hour ago, so thought it'd be cool to show you one of uh, my first. Uh, import orders uh, I've ever had. Uh, you see what I'm talking about when I open it up? Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, you've heard me comment before, I'm not a reviewer. Uh, uh, and then again, not to say that I have any problem with any of you guys that are because, uh, you know, props takes mad patience, and uh, there's enough of you guys out there doing it and doing a great job, so no need for me to step on anybody to on anybody's toes. So yeah, let's get a look at what's, uh, what's in this box here. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you the new labeling for Big Bad Toy Store. It's cool. See what got in there. We have uh, paper, bubble wrap, and we have a uh, big bag toy store uh, cart. Big bad toy store cart's pretty cool. I like that new uh, new uh, pictures on there, new figures on there, kind of cool. So, yeah. Uh, so, without further ado, here it is. Card Tommy Wild Rider, and for those of you who are like, cool, that this is the first to court to card Tommy figure that I've ordered and that I've had and that I own. Uh, for those of you who are like, why that one? Well, I actually ordered him with a set of other figures. The uh, you know the EG line that's just coming out from Takar. They're the Legend class uh, G1 figures, Optimus. And Bumblebee and Megatron and Star Screen and all those guys. Well, I just ordered those guys, and those are actually Takar products. And I meant for him to come with that one, but he's already in stock and they were pre ordered, so they sent me him early. Cool. Can't be mad about that, really, can I? So, uh, I'll be showing you those other guys. And I got the, uh, the Springer and the uh, uh, Blitzwing. Yeah, Springer and Blitzwing. Got those. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, got those guys coming too, so I'll show those unboxings. Like I said, I mean, I don't do reviews. If you want to see figures, like if you wanted to see him out the box or something, like I would take him out the box and show you. But like I said there's other guys that I, that do a better job of that. Uh, if you want me to, you know, in the future, let me know. Uh, of course, I have no problems. You know, my little minor customs that I do like that and showing those. But like these, there's guys that do way better job at give me the details of these kind of guys and I'm sure you've seen these before already too so uh yeah so you asked why I got him like I said besides the early order thing that I was saying another reason I got him is because I have this guy I have the dead end which I did the custom guns on totally did those guns from scratch guys so not trying to show off this is these these kind of things, you know, when you do unboxings and stuff, you know. I hope people are smart enough. You guys are intelligent enough to know this is not about showing off, this is about sharing. And I like to share. So I'm sharing. Right? We all like to share. So uh yeah. So since I got him, uh I went ahead.
Tracing his signal through his shielding will be impossible. Continue monitoring all frequencies. Went ahead and made him. I mean, I'm sure a few of you out there have already seen him. Uh, my custom motor master. So now I got motor master. I got dead end, and I got me a wild rider. All I need now is a drag strip and a breakdown. And we all know what the original breakdown from this series looked like. I was kind of thinking about maybe just adding them to the. I'm, you know, I don't have them. I'm gonna order them just to get them. But uh, I don't know if I might use a couple of other wheel jack modes to finish off the, the stunticons for my prime line, or maybe use the hot shot mold or something. Or maybe they'll come out with some new car modes. Not sure yet. Or maybe Takara will come out with the rest of these. I don't know. But uh, speaking about some of the cons, I do like the uh, fans project ones. I'm thinking about picking those up. And I've heard bad things about them, but they're stunt cons. They look small, but uh, I don't really care about the size. They're supposed to be kind of smaller anyway, if you think about it, comparatively speaking to jets and stuff. So that doesn't bother me too much. So I would probably be picking those guys up. And like I said, I got a uh, Blitzwing and Springer coming in the little G1 guys uh, on order that I'll be showing. And I got a lot of stuff back here that's most of the news to all the Fall of Cybertron stuff I've gotten. I uh, got most of all the Beast Hunter stuff. Uh, it's out, so as a matter, matter of fact, able to make him because if you can see closely here, that is the head sculpt off of. That's the head sculpt off the Beast Hunter's Prime. Voyager, and I just shaved his head down a little bit and put some black on there. So that's the face sculpt from that from him. And then I got his, I got the body from the Prime uh, over there. He's my new Classics Prime because I don't have a Classics Prime, so I'm using the body from the Beast Hunters Prime, kind of a Classics thing. And like I said, you look on my page, you can find it and see all that kind of stuff. So. Like I said before, uh, kind of stuff you'll be seeing from me is stuff like this. I'll do unboxings and share, because we all like to share. We all like to hear from each other. I do anyway. Uh, you know, and any you know advice or anything like that you want to share, tips or anything like that. So I'm all my my comments are always welcome. Uh, you know, you'll you'll see my customs. You'll see my mods. Uh, I try to do at least one decent custom a month. And you know what I mean by decent is something worth watching at least one a month and. I do a bunch of little side stuff, then I'll put that in there. But I'll do some, you know, something nice of this. This I consider this of this calendar something worth, you know, taking your few minutes out of your day to watch of this caliber or better at least one of these a month. With my little rants here and there, and uh, you know, whatever figures you want to look at and whatever I find around here that's new. Like I see a lot of people. Or I hear a lot of people. Or I've read a lot of people. You know, saying, "Oh, what do you have here?" Because I'm here in California, <clears throat> Lancaster, and I know people in other parts of the states. What have you saying in their stores, or what they see in their stores, or what I see in my stores? So maybe I'll start doing that. You know, what I'm seeing in my stores, and what I have, I'll show you all here. Because I get something there, you know, once a week or something like that, at least, if not something twice a week. So maybe I'll, you know, every month or something like that, I'll be putting out something that, to the effect of, "Oh, this is what I have." out right now and this is what I have in my you know, my stores right here you know so so people can get an idea of what's coming out regionally how and what waves you know because maybe somebody already people already have that kind of information I personally don't like I said I'm an, I'm an up-and-comer so you know so yeah uh, tune in guys uh, stick with me you know I'm gonna keep coming with some cool stuff hopefully you enjoy what you've been watching already uh, yeah there's some of my stuff right there's my masterpiece prime and you know my G1-ish right there. It's my G1-ish crew. It's my Prime crew, my Autobots right there, and up there's Fallen Cybertron, and over there's Decepticon G1s right there, and Prime Decepticons and Fallen Cybertron Decepticons, and I got stuff in boxes and stuff too. But, you know, enough of that. Wild Rider, I'm gonna open them up right now, guys, and see what he's about. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Keep watching. Thanks, guys. Check you later. Ryan Zero.